Hi. If you find this content useful, please support my channel on Patreon. Become a member of the family and get yourself the offer to rewards. You find the link in the description. Just on time, the new beta arrived, as today the previous one expired. Let's have a look what's new this time. Respectively, what I can show you. Frequency Shifter. Special effect to create metallic, dissonant, ring modulation and phasing effects. We got a new effect plugin in FL Studio, the Frequency Shifter, which turns for example this pad into this. Global Links dialog. Added mode control as found on the remote control link dialog. Generic links have also been renamed global links throughout the whole program. If you open the generic link options in previous versions, it looks like this. The same window of the beta is first named global link instead of generic link and that's throughout the whole program now. Additionally, there was implemented a drop-down menu with several options. Support context-aware values. Right-click type in value windows for XYZ controller, Fruity Send and Tuner. The next series of plugins which got finally the option to type in real values. The next one is a biggie for me again. Automation clips and envelopes. Edit. Shift right click to add notes at the current value of the envelope. Works in the playlist, automation clip editor and plugin envelopes like Citrus, Harmer, etc. Note, if snap is on in an envelope, use Alt Shift right click. Working before with envelopes was very tedious as points never landed where they should. The new clip editor resolved already a lot, but now we got new modifier for everywhere. If I hold shift while right clicking in the envelope area, the new created node is always on the line. The horizontal mouse position determines the horizontal placement, respectively in the playlist it snaps to the next grid line. The same works now in the envelope sections of some plugins like Harmer or Citrus. If Snap is enabled here, you can hold Alt-Shift and right-click to override the snapping as Shift on its own doesn't work in this case. MIDI settings. Added pickup functionality for controls linked to external controllers. Option in general settings. Well, that's not entirely true. If I open the general settings as told, there is no new option like this. It's located on the MIDI tab. Mixer. Hint values for mixer send knobs now show dB values. In previous positions, we had just a percentage hint for the send controls. The new beta now shows the hint in decibel 2. Playlist. Dropping a preset on multi-selected playlist tracks will add an instance of the plugins to all selected tracks. The next part I can only guess. I guess they mean if tracks are instrument tracks, then you can drop the preset as well on them like on the multi-selected ones before. Now everything works as expected. Select multiple tracks by either drag the square or hold shift while clicking and dropping now an instrument on the track header creates after some warning if you really want to do this an instrument track with the same preset on all selected ones. Alt F12 to close just the plugin windows. All corresponding mixer tracks do not contain any plugins now, but if you for example like to have an EQ on each, just drag it onto the same playlist track selection and each mixer track 
now has an instance of PEQ2 loaded. File menu. Edit options. Export all playlist tracks from track start, song start or time selection. Before, there weren't any options for this export function. This new beta offers you to choose from track start, song start or time selection now. I'm sure that's very handy for many users. There were lots of bug fixes too. That's it for this new beta. It gets better and better. And I'm sure we haven't seen some new features until now. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.